Okay, today we're going to do some 3D carving with an STL file. You guys can use the link in the blog to download the STL file. Alright, so we're in easel. We have our material size set up. We're going to come over here to import and we're going to choose 3D STL. Uh, from there, you'll be able to pick the folder that you want in the file. We're going to work with skull number three. Okay, so from here we're positioning the part, so we want it on top and we want it centered. Okay, and this is where we can adjust the scale of the part. So we're going to link the size and we're going to make this four inches and that should scale the other one appropriately. And then we're going to center in the material. Uh, here we want to reduce the thickness. We don't want to cut one inch, so let's just set this to 375 and you can see that will adjust the embossment that we're working with. Uh, other than that, we've now positioned and scaled our geometry. Okay, so we can go to the next uh, section here. Uh, this is gonna give us some different types of uh, cutting routines. So we're gonna say model boundary relief. This is gonna be X on a 45, and then we're gonna do generate tool path. Now, depending on the, the cut setting of the tool, it might say that it's gonna take a long time. And uh, I think this is based off the roughing of this cutter, right? So let's go to here. I really don't wanna rough it, to be honest. I just wanna do a finish routine, and I'm not sure how to remove the, uh, and just do the finish. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to show finish. All right, and this we can see that it's it's just cutting to the face of the model and really we want it to cut past the model. Okay, so we're gonna go to the cut style here. Let's go to rectangular. Okay, so now we're boxed in. Let's go ahead and generate tool path, continue anyways. So again, it's doing kind of a rough and finish. Uh, this looks like the finish routine and that's the roughing routine. So yeah, this is gonna end up taking a really long time. What I really wanna do is, I just wanna do a finish routine, but I want the tool path to go out to the boundary that's there. And currently I'm unsure how to do that. But uh, if you run both a rough and finish, uh, it will do kind of like a pocket routine to come in there and rough things out. You can go to your, your tool here uh, I'm sorry, let's go to our cut settings on our roughing. We're going to go to manual. We're going to set this to, uh, this is going to be 50 and 50. Step over, this is fine. And then really for the depth of the cut, it's going to depend on the material. But let's just set this to 125. All right. And then over here, this one we're going to set to 50 and 50 and we're gonna set this to 10%. Okay, so now we have updated some of our settings. It'll take a moment to calculate. All right, so that's our roughing routine. And this is our finish routine. So again, I'm not super happy with this because I would prefer that it actually uh, cuts all the way out to the, the boundary there, but I'm not, I'm not sure how to do that. I guess this is some of the padding. It says one inch, but I think that the padding ends up being used for the rough routine, not the finish. Uh, all right, so that's what we got for easel. From here, we would go to the, the carve, and I'm not sure how to post the rough and finish separately. The other way we might do it is um, come to here and download your G-code. Uh, if you're using G-Sender to import, you can just download your G-Code. And uh, you probably should be able to, uh, to separate that. And actually, it is separated here. So you got your rough pass G-Code and your finish pass G-Code. Uh, just need to figure out how to get it to cut to a boundary on the finish pass. All right.